In this lesson, you will learn about the sum of the angles in a triangle. And just so you know, the sum of the angles in a triangle, meaning if you add all the angles together in a triangle, it will always be 180 degrees. That's the magic number for the angles in a triangle. And the reason that works is a triangle is always half of a rectangle. So this is a rectangle. It has a 90 degree angle here. And by definition, that means that all of the angles are 90 degrees. Okay, so this is a rectangle. If we cut that in half, it's a triangle. So 90 degrees, 90 times four angles is, what is that, uh, 360 degrees, okay? If we cut that in half to make our triangle, we get 180 degrees. So this rectangle, I'm sorry, this triangle is the total of the angles is 180 degrees. And this angle is cut in half, so it's a 45 degree angle. This angle is cut in half, it is a 45 degree angle. And if we add 90 plus 45 plus 45, we get 180 degrees, okay? So we can use that principle to find the measure of other angles that we don't know in a triangle. We know that this entire triangle is 180 degrees. We also know that this one, they've given it to us, or I've given it to you, 75 degrees and 65 degrees. So we know that the whole triangle is 180 degrees, okay? By definition, triangle is 180 degrees. What I can do then is I can add the 75 degrees plus the 65 degrees, add those up, and that's 10, 140 degrees. So we know this is 140 degrees and the total is 180 degrees. So we simply subtract 140 from 180 and we can figure out that the measure of angle Y is simply 40 degrees because the whole thing is 180 degrees. And if we add them all up, 40 plus 75 plus 65, that's 10. That's 5, 11, and 180 degrees. Okay. So the, the, the total of all of the measures in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And if you have two of the angles, you can find a third angle by adding those together and subtracting it from 180 degrees. And that's the end of our lesson on the sum of angles in a triangle.